Good morning, everybody. Happy spring from Melka Garden Center. Here's a little preview of some spring items we have here at the store. Got some beautiful new garden stakes, rain gauges. Some cute little flamingo solar garden stakes. So some great things for your garden. We're waiting for our new statuary order coming in, but we got some beautiful things to kind of get you in that spring mode. Some nice mats and a new little display here. So we're excited for spring. We got Jim Jr. here this morning. It's going to tell us about the lawn program that we have here at the Garden Center. Good morning, Jimmy. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hope all is well and everybody's staying safe out there. Um, we just wanted to reach out and let everybody know that uh, we are here if anybody needs anything. Uh, hope everybody is staying safe, but uh, we are you know, currently open and we'll hopefully be staying open uh, for uh, the rest of the year, uh, but we will keep you informed. Uh, at this time of the spring, I usually do a lawn care seminar uh, about the Anderson's Lawn Care Program. Unfortunately, can't do that this spring, but thought I would bring it to you in a digital format so you can at least uh, get some ideas uh, and hopefully help answer some questions or even bring up some questions and we'll be here obviously to answer those for you in the future. Um, the Anderson's Lawn Care Program is, is a fantastic program. It's been around for a few years now and we've been using it. Uh, and it's, it's shown great results. And what we're trying to do is improve a very important investment that everyone has in, in their home and making sure that their landscape and their lawn is looking good. So I'm gonna go through the steps here and uh, we'll be uh, sending out uh, information and we'll also be here to answer questions as I said before. So I uh, highly recommend to start at the beginning of the spring. Your lawn is, is looking a little bit tired and a little hungry. So the Andersons has brought on a new tree and shrub and sod and seed starter fertilizer step and that's the 9126. And what it has built into it is a trademark uh, type of technology uh, in the humic coated urea and black gypsum. And what that does is that allows a slow release type of food uh, to get released into the soil. And uh, the black gypsum also what it does is it brings out the salts that have built up over the, uh, the, the winter time. And it's going to help alleviate those issues within the ground and it's also going to enhance the ability of the fertilizer to be taken up through the grass. So what it's gonna do is provide you a good strength and a good long-term durability and good soil health within the turf. So I highly recommend to come in at the beginning of the spring and apply a bag of this 9-12-6 uh, to your lawn. In addition to that, you're gonna then go into the first step. Now you can apply these at the same time, but you don't mix them in the spreader. You put one down, then you put the next step down after that. And the next step is going to be your basic first step of the actual program itself and it's going to be the 1500. The most important part of this step is going to be that barricade and that barricade is going to be the preventative of the broadleaf weeds like crabgrass and uh, other varieties of broadleaf weeds, plantains and things like that. So putting that down in the end of March uh, at the latest early April is very important. So getting that down very soon is going to be very important to help prevent weeds in the lawn. And as we move on throughout the season, we get into end of May, early June, you're going to come in for the second step. And the second step is going to be the 2207 with a celeprin, and that's in the red bag. And that's going to prevent your various types of uh, feeding insects like grubs and chinch bugs and sod webworm. And the acelaprid is a type of insecticide that is safe for the local bee population, so very important. So putting that down end of May, early June is going to be very key. As we get through the summer, if we have a hot summer and the lawn has been getting beaten up and is uh, getting uh, a little bit hungry again, the 2204 is a fantastic third step that also has the uh, humic coated urea and black gypsum in it. So that's gonna enhance your soil, like a soil conditioner. It's going to bring the nutrients back, make it more effective uh, within the soil profile and really enhancing the durability, the growth, the color, and the longevity of your turf. As you get into later in the fall, early summer, then you have your, I'm sorry, later into the fall, early winter, you have your 1812-6. That's the fourth step. It's your traditional winterizer. It's a very important step. Uh, it's, um, uh, you know, a all-purpose type of fertilizer. You can use it on your trees and shrubs as well, just like that 912-6. Um, but it's, it's, it's really a fantastic product for good durability, good growth, and good health in your soil. Uh, and in turn your lawn. So very important step. That's the 1812-6 in the black bag. 
Um, not as important right now, really, in the spring, but still want to go over them briefly. You have your Duicide and your Prophecy. Your Duicide is a uh, very, very beneficial product for customers that have issues with grubs and different types of bugs that have already done damage or are actively feeding. And that step two, uh, basically, you know, did not have enough residual impact on these populations. They're always growing. They're constantly uh, interacting with the soil. So sometimes you have to go in after that step two later in the summer and put the duicide down to help with bug damage. Very, very important. And lastly, you have fungal damage that can also be an issue within uh, the lawn profile. And you have the blue bag, which is the prophecy. You're going to put that down in, you know, end of May through June, July, August, you can get a 30 day control out of these two steps. So putting them down throughout the summer is gonna be very important, especially if you've had issues with bugs or with fungus in the past. Um, so very, very key. The other concept that I just wanna briefly explain to you is that it's very important to, you know, remember the time that you're watering your lawn and when you're applying these. Always remember to water your lawn early in the morning, not in the evening. That's that's a very key time that's gonna help prevent fungal damage and uh, it's, it's a better, more effective time for you to be watering the lawn. Also, when it comes to these products, make sure to put them down in uh, a dry condition and water them in afterwards, whether it be with the, fur, uh, with the uh, sprinkler system or also uh, with the rain, which is also very key. Jimmy, I got a quick question for you. I think sure. a common question customers yeah. might have, um, you know, maybe someone that's new to the program sees that these bags may be a little bit larger for them um, mm -hmm. compared to another com competitor out there. What's an average coverage of, um, you know, the bags that Anderson's covers on the square footage of someone's lawn? Sure, sure. Yes, these actually are very competitive when you're comparing it to say a Scott's program. You're looking at about 5,000 square feet on the Scott's. With these, you're actually getting anywhere from six to 8,000 square feet. So you are getting a longer coverage on it. And when you look at uh, the price comparable, it is actually very comparable. You might Great. be spending an extra five or so dollars per bag, but you're getting even more coverage. Okay. And the effectiveness Great. is going to be there as well. Uh, I know that you will see uh, definitely more uh, long-term results and better effectiveness using this program. So, okay, yeah. thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. And then also too, I don't think you mentioned, but uh, there'll be a little handout, right? We're gonna put it in the email or on the yes. website. So customers, yes. just in case they uh, yes. forget kind of some things yes. that you touched on today. I will have the Anderson's Lawn Care brochure linked with the email. We also have it on the website, jimelkalandscaping.com slash resources. It's on the top left side of the page. Uh, you can uh, download uh, the brochure. We'll also have paper copies here at the Garden Center. Um, so it's, uh, uh, we're, we're here to help and answer any questions and uh, we are full of, uh, of resources as well. So thanks again for your time. Have a good day.